This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Health Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience, Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana, a rainy edition of Paradise, Louisiana. By the way, Veterans Day was yesterday. Before we say anything else, thank God for our veterans, and all the people that served in all the wars, all the people serving right now. There wouldn't be no freedom, there wouldn't be no Paradise, Louisiana right now without our veterans. So to my dad who's deceased and all my cousins and all that are veterans, God bless us with y'all. Keep blessing us with our freedom. So. Yes, indeed, for sure. Tommy, you, as our special guest today, I don't know if people have seen you in a lot of magazines or whatever, but uh, you've been on Paradise, Louisiana a bunch of times. I know for the last six or seven years, you and I have done trips. You gave away trips. Uh, we got a surprise for you. He, he's never been bad about giving away his secrets. There's some people that envy him. There's a lot more that love him. There's a lot of them that follow him. There's no need. He tells you ways, catch them, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a whole segment on how to fish Grand Isle in the wintertime. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you. You brought your pretty wife with you today. I too. sure did. She's, she's my, my booster over there. She's hanging in tough. She's a pretty good award winner. Fisherman too. Oh, she's, a good, she's a good angler, yes. Not as patient though as me. Yeah, I don't think she ain't as crazy as you. Maybe so. Yeah, you know, I've seen you go out there, the wind was blowing cold from the bank, you go out in your boat, you look out, you got a window and you take off. So we got some other things today. I got Brent from Veterans Health here with us today, Brent Ballard. Uh, we're gonna talk about big weekend coming up with the with the uh, I guess you call it a concert, you know, and everything in Lamar Dixon. So he'll be here, and we're going to talk about deer hunting with him. Uh, I got a fishing trip, another fishing trip in Lafitte with the Delucci family. And uh, the other ones out there, we had, a, we had a bunch of boats out there that day fishing around each other and still catching fish. The Deluches had the, uh, the Nola brothers. Uh, the Major League Baseball players, I think y'all saw in the paper where one of them, the pitcher, thought he was going to win the Cy Young, but he, he got off it to, to a, a late start, we say we're doing it, but uh, I hear they're paying him what he's worth. So we're going to see, but the big fisherman in that family is the sister, so wait till you meet her. She is the best fisherman in the Duke's family. Her brother says it, and her daddy. Then. I, I'll tell you, we got a tournament report. I don't think there's much. I got a little confusion over the, the trout shootout. Somebody told me a throwdown. Uh, I thought they already had it. I think we got another report in the paper today. So we got a report in the paper about the duck, duck report, big duck report. The paper report said the numbers were way down. I saw that. The first opening day in the coastal zone. Wasn't that bad. So stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Thank you for being here. We're going to see how much information we can put out. We had bedrooms, boudin, Cajun meats, and big downtown port out. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. 
Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Time was called Big Dream and Miss J. Lynn. I've been around y'all, been seeing you catch fish. I've been in, the, caught some of my biggest fish fishing with you. Uh, a couple years ago, you don't seem to take me back anymore. You scared that black cloud, but you beat the black cloud every time I was with you. You sort of dressed up. You got a sport coat on today. I guess the LSU hat because- I'm not fishing. They're in the top 10. I'm not They're fishing. still in the top ten, so we're gonna do that. Tommy, you you catch fish all year long, but what amazed me in the last few years, I be in a duck blind and you sending me pictures when I know it's cold, and you catching fish off the bank from Highway One back to Lafourche. That's a lot of people don't have a boat and they're not going to get in a boat when the wind is blowing. Let's talk about bank fishing right now. From Leeville all the way back to Grand Island. Tell us what you look for and let's start on how you fish. Well, when the wind's real strong, blowing out the north, <clears throat> 20 miles an hour, I like the temperature to get down for several days. Like this past weekend was, was too strong. It was 30, 35, had some gale warning. So I like it to be about 20 miles an hour out the north and we fish the south side of LA-1 from all the way from uh, Pushan to the first two bridges in Grand Isle. And we fish those pits, those deeper pits, about 10 feet of water. And, you know, we start off with top water in the morning. This is one of my favorite top water baits here. Any top water bait that you like that's in your box will work. It doesn't have to be a specific is brand. This? this is an unfair lure. One of my friends owns the company, so uh, he gave me something to try, and it works really well. That's a new one. And this is a, a, uh, a sinker, a twitch bait. And when it's real cold, those big trout get in those deeper holes, and they sit down there six, eight feet down. And don't let anybody fool you and tell you, you know, when it's 50 degrees, you can't catch trout, or 45. That's bull. I hear a lot of that on news media, fish anglers. When on the side of the road, on, on, on the south side, on, on, on the way to Grand Isle, well, let me ask you in that. those pits, it's cold. You put that twitch bait on. I like the sinking one. You let it sink, and then you twitch it back at a pretty medium speed when it's cold, and those three pounders, they come in there and they load it up. What, tell me like this. You, you're telling me that other people tell them they got bad days and you don't agree with them. What is your bad day? What is your worst day? Like, like this past weekend when the wind was blowing at 35 towards the northeast, it muddied up the south side and it muddied up most of the north side so you couldn't fish anywhere. I mean, I caught a few fish, I caught a flounder and a few trout, but it muddied it up everywhere. So that's my worst nightmare is an east wind at 30 miles an hour, messes up Grand Isle, messes up the side of the road, everywhere. Well, people at Delacro, they say, you can forget the west wind. It ain't even good to go out and eat it. A west wind and Delacroix. They say that in Grand Isle too, but a light west wind, I've caught a lot of big trout on a light west wind. I'll, I'll, on the warmer days on the side of the road, I'll go to uh, t swim baits, and my favorite one just happens to be a tsunami. Everybody has their own favorite swim bait, but this is my favorite one. It's a spotted sea trout is the name of it, and it's got a, a paddle tail on it, and it's the swim minnow, not the swim shad. It's lighter, so you can kind of let that wind just carry it 
You cast it out with about a 12, 14 pound test, some light, ultra light equipment I like to use with this. And you just let the wind carry the, the, the mono, mono's light, so it kind of carries the bait. Put them up there good, let them see the colors, and he's going to he give you his close up later. This is called golden bunker, and this is called spotted sea trout. It looks like a little baby sea trout, and they love to eat. But these, these are my two favorites right here in swim baits. I don't use anything else. I don't buy anything else. If somebody wants to give me some, I'll try it, but these are the two I buy. And this one's been doing really well in clear water at the barges, believe it or not. I'll catch them even in a, you know, on a calm day when the wind's blowing on the light. It's got a pink tint to it, huh? Yeah, it's like an opening night kind of. Uh, when the wind's blowing light out the north, I, I like to get in my boat and get off the side of the road. So the only time I get on the side of the road is if it's really nasty and blowing out the north, then I'm gonna fish the, the, the south side. And every once in a while, those ditches on LA-1, but I fish the ditches only with the swim bait. Your wife would tell me, I've seen you sit on your porch and all of a sudden you look out there and it's, a, it's supposed to be bad and you see it clear and you used to run the bridge side. Now you got your boat at your camp, you know, you're about in the middle of the island, you can go either way, huh? That's right. Depending, then, on, depending on the wind, you know. I always say, this is my famous words, is let the wind be your friend. Always look for green water, for clear water, and get where the wind is to your back. Uh-oh, look at this. Wow. We gotta come in. I know we're gonna have to thank you. <laughs> and we gotta show off. I don't know. We we can't eat that right now. That's we beautiful stuff. We'll eat it after a while. But uh, we bring it in here. Jay Lynn, you, you might want to come try this, you and Brent, so we we'll leave it there right now till we get through with this segment. But uh some of some of some other top water Let me, let me tell you another thing about this this is a Paul Brown. When it when it's dusk or dawn on the side of the road and it's cold and everybody's catching fish. This bait right here, in a chartreuse, I was looking for a chartreuse buggy only had this color. So I got this color, this because it was close to chartreuse. And I've been, for two years, this bait is two years old. It's rubber, it's soft. And look, you let it sink, it sinks fast. So you gotta be in deep water, you can't be in shallow water. You cast it out far, let it sink, maybe five seconds. And then at dusk or dawn, you reel it back slow, slow. You don't twitch it at all. Just a slow, slow retrieve. I'm talking about slow. And all it does is back and forth a little bit, just enough silhouette for those big trout to see it and not know that it's fake, and they, they attack it. You feel like you're stuck on an oyster or something. I mean, it's like this bait right here, a dusk and dawn, is unbelievable. They ought to give you more than all the advertising you're giving them. But uh, I see some team marks on that, too. So that's good. We'll take care of this bait right here. <laughs> so we'll talk to you and, later. And this is a very popular bait. You'll see it on the side of the road. This mullet, anything that looks like a mullet, it doesn't matter what brand it is. If it sinks, and some people use a, a, a suspended one, but on the deeper water, we want a sinking one. We want it to get down there quick, because they down deep in 10 feet of water, because it's you cold. You told me something. I, I, I think you were fishing top water. I look, and they got top water than me, you know. And I use the top water if they're hitting the top water, but in most cases, when the sun comes out on a cold, pretty day, they're going to be down. They're not going to touch the top water because of the sun. And so you go to the twitch bait. Yeah. There's not a there's not a place in Louisiana where you can't buy these baits. Uh, H&H makes one that's similar to them. I gave you some, and I, I fished them. Uh, you can. Uh, the reason I use I, this, Gary, is because I'm kind of lazy on the side of the road, and it's cold, and I don't have to jig it. I cast it out and just re slow you, retrieve it. Anybody you can do it. Video one time. Fishing out of the back of your truck. I mean, the back of a truck. I, I, I can't get over that. And <laughs> Anybody when, can use these swim baits because you just cast it if the, and retrieve it. If they have places to duck hunt, the Grand Isle, I'll be over there with you. I like to do both. When I, I like to do there, both, so, too. So. We get it. Yeah, we. And look, don't forget this right here. This, this People kind of laugh at me on the side of the road. I've been there when nobody's catching fish and the fish just got locked jaw. And I'll throw this little two-inch swim bait you got to have a light line and ultra light and just let it sink to the bottom and it barely twitch it. I'm barely move it. And I'll catch trout when nobody else is catching them on this bait right here. We, we was in your boat one time and I picked up your rod and I was about to outfish you. We, were, we could see Highway 1, you know, and we were back and we were fishing these little islands. We got off one point and that little thing, every time it sinks, we was catching a trout. Tommy, stick around because we're going to be right back. Get you something to taste. I will. And uh, 
Is there anything else unique you mean you might want to tell us? The island is still on, on warm days. Don't forget to fish around Grand Isle. You can still fish around the, the jetties, coming out of past jetties, the barges. Uh, until January last year, I caught fish in the Gulf on calm, pretty days where the water turns green. With, and, and, and the tsunami works the best, but the live shrimp, if you can get them at Bridgeside or anywhere, free line live shrimp, Jay and I caught 40 one week ago right behind the island. But I was going to tell you, yeah, a lot of people got camps from Grand. They run through Kamenade, go in the back to Bay Round, Round Lake, different other places and fish. The marsh. The marsh behind Grand Isle is real good too. That's right. And then, then the redfish will move in and they'll stay in there to it gets so cold that they go in deep Then they go in the deep holes, yeah. Right. And you so most people I know fish is golden meadow after this is time. They go on the golden meadow, fishing those trout, moving in the shrimp right now. The fish report, I'll tell you more, concentrating there where they're moving in. But uh well, most people believe that these fish move all to the marsh, and I don't believe that until it gets freezing cold. Then they go to the marsh in these holes, and some go offshore. And those fish that go offshore, a lot of them come back. I mean, I'll fish those barges in December right after Christmas with that, that swim bait, that tsunami, and just drag it right over those rocks. The rocks hold to heat, and I'll catch limits in, in December. And people are like, no you, know, no, you didn't catch that in the Gulf. And I, I do it every year if it's calm. Thank you for your friendship, and uh, thank you for the little secrets. And I hope we give some more, and we'll bring it back, and we're going to make a trip, you and I, off the bank. I, I bet 25, 30 years ago, I used to fish off the bank. I used to get in period when nobody else could. Now everybody can fish off the bank, so just be safe. We're coming right back. Paradise, Louisiana, from Bedroom, Boudin, Cajun Boot. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. I'm going to start with you because I know you've been there. Grand Isle, you, you sent us a little video off the bank. Tell us about that little video real quick. You were fishing off I was, the bank. I was coming back and I told Jay, I said, you know, Gary wanted a little video to put on the show. I said, let's stop right here. I didn't have an ice chest, didn't have anything. I put that tsunami swim bait on, I put this one on, and uh, the water was still muddy from that 35 mile an hour wind that was blowing out the north. And I was on the north side, one of those, those, those the ditch on the north side. So I said, it's gonna be too muddy. I, the first, or second cast, I caught, a nice one, the one that was on a video. No, actually, I caught three before I told Jay to get out the truck and come video me for Gary. So I caught like five trout in about five minutes on the way out, and I released them all, of course, because I didn't have an ice chest. And uh, so I could have caught, I think I could have caught 15 or 20 just walking that LA1 ditch. Yeah, sir. It was a pretty little fish. I want to thank you. Grand out right now. There's other people fishing, I'm sure. It's perfect time right now, even to go on the beach. You get a warm day. If the Nobody wind on the light out the north, about 10 or 5 out the north, right, or the northwest, then the, the land blocks the beach, Gary, and the, and the beach gets clear. The water gets pretty and green. I can remember back when Charlie Hollison had, his, had the marina in Fushan, and uh, it was right before Thanksgiving, and we had some days I was with Steve Shook. We had live bait, 
and then we had plastic. You can talk about it. Caught them both. You can hear Biggest trout I ever caught. Well, it was right off them know, rocks. What made me go back and get the shrimp, though, they had an old lady I know in the 70s, my age, back. Uh, that was the older me back then, but now I'm 70. And her grandson, and they were, they were hitting them rocks, and they were hammering them on, on shrimp. So we went back and got a few live shrimp, and we caught some pokies with a cast net. Well, you know what's crazy? I, I, we caught them in the barges in the front with plastic. I caught them by myself. And three days later, it got windy, 20 mile an hour. I said, Jay, let's go behind the island. Some rocks behind the island, about kind of by sand dollar. And we tried plastic. We had some shrimp left over from my neighbor at, at Queen Bass. They gave them to me. I said, let's try them little bitty shrimp. A little bitty shrimp. We put them on a, on a, on a free line hook. And I started waxing beautiful trout with a little bitty shrimp this big. We ran out of shrimp. We went back to Bridgeside, got some more, and came back, and we had 40 trout all on freeline live shrimp. Well, that, that's one of your main things, catching big fish, freelining. You throw the, you throw a regular casting rod, and everybody else, when they're fishing windy, they fish everything. I don't know how you throw it. The wind's got to be at your back. It's all, without the wind, we couldn't have got those little shrimp out there. Yeah, but... Uh, that, that, that's a good report right now. Don't, don't stop and don't go down. They're both of the landings right now, Butch over there at, at Sand Dollar and at Bridgeside. Bridgeside's got, got some shrimp, yeah. Time to go, a lot of room, so let's do it now. Now, my other fish report, I'm trying to make it short. Uh, Miss Angie and, and David from uh, Island Marina and Lake Catherine, you got to fish the weather. That's what they're telling me all the time. The weather got bad, it was crowded, it was, it was a lot of things. I said, it was cloudy and a lot of wind. And so it, the trout sort of stopped, but you let that wind stop. Now they going in the marsh, and they still can't trout on a, getting out of that wind. They still catching trout. And live bait still the best one, you still getting shrimp, but they catch them on, on plastic. Dudley and Mike Gallo and all those guys, that, uh, Captain Andy, all her guys, some of them are starting to fish the trussels. I saw They're that. They're moving in right now. I saw They're that. starting to fish the trussels. And uh, they drop shot. Most of them drop shot and fishing. But uh, then you catch the smokers for it. You know, they're catching a little drum. They're catching sheephead. But the bigger trout are starting to move in. So pay attention. Uh, follow these reports. Read the reports in the Advocate and the Sportsman, Sportsman Magazine. By the way, I see now that Sportsman got you as one of their correspondents. You, <laughs> they're on you all the time. Tony and them do a good job. That's the best magazine in the world. Definitely. Too. So, uh, and that's it. I want to thank Miss Angie. Redfish go on a, on a binge all day. And those people that are doing blasts and casts, that wind was so rough the other day, and they were so worried about killing ducks, and we're going to bring you that report when we come back. we got a, a hunting report, and we're going to have Brent Ballard here tell you more about that concert coming up. Stay tuned for more Paradise of Louisiana. Thank you again, brother. Yes, sir. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, 
only at Circle K. Take it easy. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. We're here at Bourgeois Fishing Charters for the Sister Dulce annual trip. I'm Captain Joel Barra. Come on, go with us. Keep him in the boat. Hey, you want you want to catch the first one, huh? Absolutely, catch the first one. Is that good luck or bad luck? That's, that's good sized fish too. Perfect eating size. Good job, Kristen. Yee! The Lucci. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> Daddy, proud of you. <laughs> We'd have had our limo. It was a good thing. You let the days pass out. Yeah, good thing. I don't think he made it. Yeah, really. That's good. Oh, oh. oh. I was no. afraid of that. Did I pull it out of his mouth? No, you no. Just... Just get him, keep him in the, the water as long as the bigger the fish, I keep him the longer I'll keep him in the water. Uh-huh. And I really want him in the boat. Oh. Yeah. Nice one, Chris. You swing yes. it. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. You gotta holler fish on. Do I know? I'm serious. I wanna put the camera. I will. Nice. There you go. Beautiful trout. Oh captain, Perfect. my captain. Every, every cast, y'all ain't gonna be here long. I'm gonna put the camera down. Right now is the most fish I've caught in a long time. I know. Swinging in. Last year. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all made me catch the last one. You caught those redfish. I could not catch them. Let me see the bait. Talk to it. There it is. Matrix says, man, need it. That's it. Good fight. Oh, hold him in that water. Oh. He got hit right at the boat. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh, in the mic. Okay. Then you, when you get, when you want to flip him over, get him over the boat. Come with it, yeah. Yeah, just, just make it one swift, quick move. Yeah, like you, like, like you swung. Like, like you just like swing it to it, put it in his lap. No! Just like that. I almost lost him. Hold on, that was, what a good fish, guys. Look you know, how, you always miss the big ones, though, huh? Look how fat. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. Yes, indeed. She got one on. Hold on. Y'all don't talk. Let her talk. Swing. I sure had to learn how to cast that she called. Swing it and put it in the bottom of the deck. Don't read it all the way up. There you go. Go ahead. Yes, indeed. Chris, are you having fun? Yeah. I'm having fun. Tell me again. Chris, tell the camera. It's so a Captain Joe knew that when he came out from underneath that fog this morning that we were going to find these guys. And it didn't take but two minutes for us to find. And they're ready, they're excited, and they're biting hard this morning. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go move them to the spot with no fish. Tell, tell, tell me about that bait. <laughs> That's the Matrix Shad Magneto color. That's my go-to color this time of the year for because there's a lot of shrimp in the water and it kind of mimics the shrimp. But uh, Matrix Shad makes a great bait. Spin that pole. Got him, good bit. There you go. Oh yeah, he keeps. He's keeping. Yeah. Squeeze him by. Time of year. Come on. Yep. Fishing on the feet this time of year is great. The trout are here, the redfish are here. You can normally get a nice mixed box. And the fish are getting nicer. And the fish are getting nice. Weather's not too hot, not too cold. Get out here on a non-windy day and have a blast. I noticed you 
and you take your bait off, you know, that bait ain't swinging, you hook it in the eye. I hook it in that eye every time. I don't want to hook nobody else in the boat, you know, accidents happen, but uh, uh, a hook in somebody can uh, really ruin a day. Oh, this is not a bad one. Talk to him then, Chris. That's probably one of the bigger ones I've caught so far. It sees the boat and it gets mad and goes down. It takes a dive. I think we started fishing in Grand Isle when I was about, probably about nine years old. Dad used to bring us to Grand Isle and put us out on the beach and showed us how to use popping corks. I had a hard time not pulling back like I was trying to catch a bass. Had to keep their hooks in their mouth, not pulling their lips off. So learning how to how to fish salt water was a lot different than catching catching bass. And then it became an addiction, catching speckled trout and redfish. And I have to say, I'd much rather go fishing than hunting any day. I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go fishing. I'd rather sleep in to go hunting. That's a good one right there, you know. Oh, he caught himself. Look at that. <laughs> I heard that truck before. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh. It's funny when the fish are biting, everybody laughing. That's it. When they, when they ain't biting, nobody laughing. Growing up in a, in, a, in a family full of competitors, there was no... Com com competition was in sports, but also in fishing. So you had to, you know, catch the most and catch the biggest. And being the little, the youngest one in the family, it was it was always a competition to try to, to be the better fisherman. I have to say, I think I am the best fisherman, the better Delucci in the family, if I was to say so myself. But I love, I grew up on the water. Dad brought us out when we were little bass fishing. And I can remember, you know, pulling Barbie behind the boat, hoping that she'd catch a, a brim. And then we grew up and the older we got, the more places we were able to fish. So we started fishing Grand Isle learning how to catch specks and um, treating them differently than you would a bass because you have to be very gentle with their mouth. So it was it was a whole different style of fishing and I fell in love with it. But tell me about your brother, you know, major league player, all state, got a guy, all American. Tell me about him. I know he's a hunter, he's been on TV. He's a hunter, he's a hunter. He definitely holds the He's records. your older brother. He's the older brother, two years older. He didn't just let you win. <laughs> no, I had to fight for it. But it made you know, it made it made me more uh, of a competitor. But um, he he's done so, he's accomplished some unbelievable things growing up and, and in his career in baseball and now after his career, uh, he's still giving back to the community and we're doing what we can to, to be involved. Uh, the David Delucci Foundation came back. We brought that back uh, this past year and uh, we joined forces with the Capital Area Law Enforcement Foundation to raise money for protective gear for our law enforcement. So with the foundation, we're really trying to give back and get in with the community and, and make Baton Rouge strong again, like it was whenever we were growing up and have a safe place for, for our kids and their kids. Um, being in, involved in the community. Uh, we're actually here, thank you, uh, to the Sister Dulce Foundation. Uh, we attended Dining by Design. My dad's involved with the Sister Dulce Foundation and that evening we went to Dining by Design uh, made a bid for this fantastic trip with bourgeois fishing charters over here with with Captain Joel. Uh, so a wonderful evening, a wonderful evening spending with Mr. Gary and other other friends and family of Baton Rouge. It was a uh, it was pretty pretty amazing. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people. 
love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they're all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Here's one of our partners, Beth himself, Mr. Brent Ballard. Brent, I cheated, but I couldn't take it anymore. Why don't y'all eat? Since you're gonna be doing most of the talking right now, that's that's that pepper jack, boot and ball. It's oh, that's some of the best. Brent, you made a you made a little hunt last week. We were back at Abad's hunting reserve. Tell us about it. Oh, I uh, took Chase Levine over there, uh, and he killed a. A massive, massive uh, 11 point. Uh, weighed 280 pounds. Uh, but thanks to Percy Abair up there at Abair's Hunt Preserve in Kentwood, it's amazing, amazing hunt. Tell us, tell us how Chase is involved. I know he's fishing with Mexican Gulf, and he always he's gonna host some more trips with us. I'm, I'm gonna be glad to go back. I can't go to an inside trip or a tuna trip with him. So he invited us. We're going to be back pretty soon with some of your veterans. Absolutely. But Chase, tell us a little bit about Chase Levine. Yeah, Chase Levine, um, he's part owner of uh, Mexican Gulf Fishing Company, uh, and he, he handles the fish house. Uh, there's quarters down there uh, with Mexican Gulf. Unbelievable establishment. He seen what uh, Percy Abear was doing over at Abear Hunt Preserve. And uh, he's seen all the hunts we were doing with the veterans that uh, Abear has been taking care of. Uh, well, Chase Levine decided he wanted to go on the hunt himself. And uh, he booked a hunt, and uh, we was fortunate enough as Paradise Louisiana to be able to be there with this. And it was an unbelievable we kill. Had a pretty good cameraman, too. Oh, absolutely. Did you learn anything from when I, sh I shot that little bit with Claire? I did. Girl? I did. Yeah. Probably not as good as you. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm getting there. Probably then. <laughs> Tell us about that hunt, that big deer. Uh, he hunted about two weeks, uh, actually, for this deer. He was looking for this particular deer. Uh, this deer was being kind of hard uh, to get. He would come out right at dark. Uh, and it was hard to see him, hard to get a good shot on him. Uh, they starting to chase a little nose right now. So he was on the move. Uh, but finally, he came out. Uh, it was about 5'10", so it was starting to get dark. Uh, this deer came on out. He had sent a few little bucks out in front of him came out and get, opened up a shot about 80 yards broadside for him and he took the shot. And he ran about 50 yards, but he didn't go far. Man, we got out to the sand, it was a rainy day, uh, perfect conditions. So we were uh, hoping that, you know, this big deer was gonna to make a move. We had seen him a few times, but it was real late at night and uh, toward the evening and it was too dark to shoot. We, uh, we got in there pretty early. Um, the rains were coming down. They kind of stopped, temperatures was dropping. Um, and, and everything was just picture perfect. There's a few bucks came out, um, looked like they were starting to chase some does. And uh, sure enough, this particular animal had been sending some deers out there ahead to kind of as a safety, safety net for him. And uh, he came out, presented us with a good shot, um, took the shot, ran about 80 yards, and, uh, and we connected. Man, you know, best feeling in the world, holding them horns in your hands. And uh, we had some, you know, some big bug down action.
Oh. You got him? Yeah, he's here. He's here? Yeah, he's here. How do you know? I saw him buckle. So I want to thank Mr. Percy. And, uh, you know, he was, he had great accommodations. You know, he's got, he's got just what anybody in Louisiana needs to go and harvest him a big mature animal. Um, he, he makes his property feel like you're hunting in Missouri, Iowa, uh, anywhere. And, uh, the, the quality of the animals, if you watch this video, you'll see some of the other bucks on his property and, uh, you know, the service and, uh, just his personality is second to none. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and our hunting report. And boy, we got an extensive hunting report. Starting to get some deer pictures in, and I want to remind y'all, you take in pictures, you want it for TV, you hold that camera sideways. Gary at ParadiseLouisiana.com. Brent, since you're the big deer hunter, tell us what's going on right now in the pictures we done got in this week. Oh, we got a nice one. Uh, Brecken Meyer uh, up in Norwood. He's the grandson of Brian Hutchinson. He killed a nice buck on Saturday. Oh, it was a nice hunt. Um, also, uh, we have Peter Abr Abraham uh, from Jennings. Uh, he was with Trinity Outdoors and Jason Bland. What an unbelievable, unbelievable organization Trinity Outdoors is. Uh, they had a good uh, hunt. And then Hagen Lambert. Hagen Lambert, uh, he killed a nice seven point in Mississippi over this past weekend. And he was a happy little child. And uh, I got to report my son and my great grandson, they, they can't, uh, they can't seem to get one over there where they're hunting right now. Can't see them. So the rut has started. Uh, we got a, we have a, a good friend that used to be our camera guy and one of our correspondents, Jordan Terahana. Y'all remember Jordan Terahana used to shoot his own hunt with a GoPro and this and that, and he shot a lot of video. He edited for us. Jordan. Moved to Tennessee, he's in Nashville. He does a lot, he's been hunting. This is a monster he killed. It almost rivaled that one Chase Levine kill, which you saw in the video. Oh, yeah. But uh, Jordan Tell Hanna, you saw that, killed that big one, and uh, so that's it, right there, hunt. Congratulations, Jordan. We'd like you to get back, because he got a concert. You told me you was gonna try to be here, and it's this coming weekend. Tell us a little bit it about is, that concert. It uh, is, Saturday, November 17th at Lamar Dixon, we have the Freedom Bash for veterans. Uh, and being, uh, this is Veterans <coughs> Month, we wanted to do something for them. Uh, we're giving 500 free tickets to the Active National Guard to show up. Uh, Craig Morgan and Chase Tyler is gonna be the singers that night. We're having a, uh, it's gonna be a tailgating party starting at 8 a.m. It's gonna be all day. We got the Gun and Knife Show starting at nine. And then we have a, a car show at Southern Muscle Car. They're putting on, it starts at 10. And it's gonna be all day. 100.7 is hosting this uh, uh, this event. And a lot of food? It's gonna be a lot of food. We're gonna have pasta you know and some jumbo and some other things going that's on. That's open day uh, of uh, the East Zone, so. But, uh, <laughs> it is, it is. But and, you're uh, a bachelor, no, Jimmy. You can make a hundred minutes. It's gonna be all day. So you make your hunt early in the morning and get over there because uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best. The door is open at 6. The concert doesn't start until 7. You got time. 
Uh, you can come off the stand and make it in time to see Craig Morgan. Well, that'd be right. Now, now let's, let's go what I want to do. I've been waiting on duck hunting. Duck season opened up in the coastal zone and in the west zone. And uh, it's an extensive report, but I promised Chris I was going to go through it fast. That you saw the article in the, in the Advocate. It was talking about the numbers were down. The flyover, and they were. You know, it was unbelievable. One of the worst pre-hunt reports there ever was. Mm. Well, I don't know if that storm or that wind, Things but we weren't looking for much. I was worried about Delacro. Delacro in one area was bad. Okay, uh, I, was a, I was supposed to be a guest of, of, of Mike Benz. You know, everybody knows Mike Benz from the Delacroix Corporation mm -hmm. and big, big way up in, on the National Committee with Ducks Unlimited. He had his normal people there. They've been hunting there 50 something years. Yeah, they started with their dad. It's a big family affair. I, I love it. I've been there the last three or four years. Uh, the food is good. The camaraderie is, is excellent. Tell stories. A lot of their parents are, are deceased, mm -hmm. but they got pictures and they talk about them all there and the kids, everybody. So, but like I got sick. I had a 24 hour, or maybe 48 hour uh, virus, and uh, I didn't want a chance. So I'm getting out in the boat, waiting to go away out there. I had to make a bunch of trips somewhere, and that's all <laughs> I'm gonna say about that. And I thank Mike for being patient. I'll be back over there pretty soon. But Delacro has hit and miss. My grandson and them went Sunday to check my lease out because we had heard there had been water highs and they were supposed to have left. Not true. There's some places that are bad. But the good reports coming from Delacro was Mike Benz the second day, they, they had a mixed bag, they killed some. First day, one teal, mm. one blue wing teal. Now, Charles William, Randy DeLise, and then, and they showed him some pictures of dogs, their dog Lexi. They sent us some pictures, some uh, lemons. They killed some lemons, Delacro. When my grandson went to check the lease, they were still flying everywhere. They wouldn't land in the lease, it was all water hyacinth. But he started at cows and they heard a lot of shooting. So Delacro hit and miss. But if you got someone in places around Big Lake, they all kill them, and they're catching fish, too. And even the bass are still biting the Delacroix. My grandson, Blake, and them now, they went to Hopedale the first day, took the big boats and their P-Rose, and I, I'm gonna miss some of his buddies. They were all at the camp, but uh, it was just, it was Blake and his, his big boy, Trey, the ball. See the difference in the size these boys with the kind of guy together. They had the Venable boys. They had, uh, uh, what was it? what's the mother boy's name? I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. But uh, the, C the Celerio boy, the Tysan boy, Dustin, Austin Biggs, and one of the other ones. They, they had a great time. Them boys can cook, but I just couldn't eat. You believe that? They had gumbo, and my daughter sent a sign. Them boys ate good, cleaned the camp good. That's most important. Congratulations to them. Here's the pictures from what they killed. But Pecan Island was really another great oh. place. And you got pictures from Pecan Island. You seen your people sit them. I was getting them all the day. I was getting them from uh, Side, Side Graves and Randy Young. Uh, my, my buddy, Mr. Mouton, was sending me some pictures of his guys with their dog. And everywhere I was going, they were killing lemons at Pecan Island. The more you've seen it. Uh, it had a dog named JC. They sent pictures hanging. Shannon Brasso and in Gaydon area, they did good. Uh, they were hunting a Delta waterfowl. The banquet was the place I went to, by the way. I'm going to show you a little pictures. When I went to the Delta waterfowl banquet, and all these people were excited about doing it. Best overall trip, I'm going to say the best way was Viewers Venice. Ryan Lambert kept sending me pictures of all the people that went out on the boat, all the blinds, all the people limited out early. They're going back in, clean their birds. Some of them was trying to make a blast and cast. It was a little windy. I didn't get to a fishing report, but uh, yeah, Billy Jeff Billy Beer said down in uh, Venice, they were. Jeff Edgecombe, right. He's a councilman down there. Mm -hmm. They make a hunt out of Tiger Pass, wherever they got leases. They all did good, they had a mix. Gray ducks, teal, 
and some pintail. Everywhere else, uh, my grandson and them hopefully I did kill one mallet, mm -hmm. greenhead. So most of it, teal. Most and of it. If you teal. look at the report, it was in the aggregate. Teal was so far down you couldn't even believe it, but they made it back. They made it back. They here this weekend opens in the east zone. See what we can do. Uh, we're going to go out and actually look at this. Well, I made a little trip to the Delta Waterfowl Banker, so this ain't a whole lot of to tell you about it, but it was the birds. I brag about the food. They're all good. Mm -hmm. Catering Cajun and them cook a lot and everything. I don't know who the cater was. I don't know who these boys got, but it was at LaBerge. It was perfect, country boy, best meal I had in a long time. Come on. It almost rivals the, the Ducks Unlimited banquet in Plaquemine, okay, when they got all the seafood stuff. But they had greens cooked with sausage and bacon, big mm. pile of greens. They had Sliced duck breast, sliced thin, dirty rice in a sauce. Oh. Had bread, they had pork tenderloin, they had all kind of breads enlisted, rolls. Best I meal I ever had. So I want to thank y'all for the great job y'all did. Delta Waterfowl, big crowd. That's the duck report. Oh, I take it back. I forgot to go north, huh? The juice report. Top gun. Sending reports already, he's full of geese. Everybody else I talked to ain't even seen many geese yet in Gaydon. But uh, right now, if you want to make a hunt, get ready. You can go all during the week. Top Gun full of geese, and the duck season opens this week. So, they're missing nothing else. I think I got it all. You good? Yeah, the only thing coming up, we have that uh, event we're going to do together, that quail hunt over there by Robert. Uh, Y'all stay tuned for that. That's going to be a good hunt. Can you shoot good with me? We're going to have to see. Okay, we're going to come back with a little bit of news, not much. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana and our news report. And here we go another week Bad news. Mickey Montabana. Mm. Mickey and S.J. Montabana, if you talk about outdoors, you talk about music, you talk about fruit exchange, 91 years old, Mickey, he was the utmost person that liked to entertain. You couldn't go to Italian-American function, a veteran function, you couldn't go anywhere that you didn't see him and his brother, S.J. Always been life of the party. What I remember most is they like to fish. They like to sackle fish, speckle trout fish, and uh, they used to have that shoe pick rodeo that one at, at Lake Concordia. They were all over there holding court. I believe they drank a few out of drinks and, uh, and it was a lot of cutting up and a lot of people really with that tournament is missed. And I think a lot of people want to do it. They call it a tournament, but I'm gonna call it a rodeo. So that's my rodeo report. Mickey, we just lost Guy last week, both of them in the 90s, both of them veterans. Mm -hmm. Veterans Week again. I don't want you to mess up. I want to just mention one more time since it was Veterans Day yesterday when we, we went taping yesterday. Tell us again what we got coming up this Saturday. 
We have Freedom Bash. Uh, it's a concert for veterans. It's going to be at Lamar Dixon November 17th. Uh, the doors open at 6 o'clock. Uh, it's going to run in teal. Got Craig Morgan and Chase Tyler going to be playing. We've got the uh, tailgating party all day hosted by 100.7. we got the gun and knife show. Uh, those both start around 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, we have the car show starting at 10. Going to have food, drinks, family fun. Bring everybody out. You can get your tickets at etix, uh, etix.com, uh, etix.com. Get your tickets, and I'll see you on the 17th. Thank you again. Thank you for letting Paradise, Louisiana, be partners with Veterans Health. Thank you. Keep with us. Keep helping me shoot video when I can't be two places at once. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Y'all take two Paradise, Louisiana. You know, we miss KD, Joe, and Don. But I promise you, I'm going to bring in y'all expert every week or somebody different as a co-host. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service. Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate. Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.